from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In this recording, we're going to go over the continuing resolution that has an inherent deadline of just a few days away that could get you a big stimulus check. This is in addition to the Build Back Better Act that has at least fifty to $60,000 of checks. I have the great news with that CR for Stimulus 1.0 just a few days away. Then we'll be going into the breaking news about 2 and 3.0, heating up right behind it. But we're back on the ground in Ukraine with its capital of Kiev, and it sustained the resistance of Russia. The Russian oppression has been kept 18 miles out of town, and Ukraine is holding. This is big news, and we have breaking news about the financial element of it as well. Overnight, the major countries of the world have done what I told them to do. Yank Russia from SWIFT, making it difficult for Russian banks, central banks, to communicate internationally for transfer of funds. I have the latest details on that. Then we'll be looking back at the Build Back Better Act and the incredible checks that are in that Build Back Better, upwards of fifty dollars to $60,000. We'll look at the incredible CR for Simulus 1.0, and we have brand new details about that overnight. But we also have new elements coming in. On a day in which you think there may not be much breaking news, oh, there is a lot. We have one of the Fed heads talking about inflation. This is big because we're talking about, in this recording, your additional $300 a month if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Rail Benefits. I have the breaking news about his comments as well. Plus, we have new developing details about what the White House is doing to ensure that the price of oil at the pump is kept in control in spite of what's happening in Ukraine. It's brand new. It's nothing you've heard before on this channel. It happened in just the last few moments. New flights in and out of Russia have been canceled and... I have the latest details on the efforts to battle Russia on the ground. From the Eastern Europe shores to the shores of Santa Monica, California, the breaking news starts right here, right now, on a major day with a lot of money at stake, a lot of checks for you at stake. I got all the details starting right here as Morning's Ally gets underway. And good morning, everybody. The acts of aggression by Vladimir Putin have failed. He has, un he has been unable to capture the capital of Kiev or any part of Ukraine overnight. He thought he was going to get it by Saturday. In fact, now great news coming in on financial markets. In the latest developing details, as SWIFT has yanked Russia's central bank from any communication with the West for transfer of funds. I have the latest details on that, but we're going to start first with the Build Back Better Act in this incredible recording. Upwards of forty dollars to $60,000 of adult automatic stimulus checks included. But we're also going to start first with CR for Stimulus 1.0 that has an inherent deadline of just a few days away. $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds in there. That could get you a $2,000 stimulus check. The one right after that is the raising of your benefits by $300 a month. SS200, SS300, SS400. It's coming up right after that. And then we go into CR for Stimulus 2 and 3.0 in the Senate from, Senate from the House passed. The latest details on that coming up in this recording. And then guess what? See the very end because viewers have gotten thousands of dollars this week. This weekend, this month, from Third Stimulus, and I'm going to show you how to cash checks, lots of it, upwards of $10,000, later in this video. Stay to the very end. We have a huge day with a lot of breaking news, and I'm not just talking about Ukraine. We're talking about financial news across the board, and I want you to follow this family. So go into the video right now and subscribe. You're watching LA Light, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, heading to number two among broadcast, cable, and internet. Like the video to 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. 
We're going to go right into the Build Back Better Act, the four stimulus recon, and its incredible checks that are staying in there, passed in the Senate, passed in the House back in November, going to get passed in the Senate. We're going to analyze each of them before we go into the CR right behind it, which has a deadline just a few days away. How many checks are in this, this incredible Build Back Better Act for Simples Recon? A lot. Upwards of $15,000 to $60,000 of checks for you. Single, married, retired, middle class, low income, SSI, SSDI, it's all you. Three clusters, three add-ons. Let's get to them. Hazard pay, got into that first cluster one more year. The earned income tax credit, learn about it at irs.gov, put in there under third stimulus. Then they got one more year of the CTC check, children's check, $3,600. One more year, low income household, $4,000 of elder care, got it in there. $4,000 of care for young children, got it in there. Home repairs, got it in there. For millions of Americans who want to make home repairs in a low income community. $550 check for the Pell Grant college students and $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric car. There are three classes of checks and three add-ons of checks in this incredible Build Back Better Act for Simples Recon, which is where we are right now. But the first add-on is the one that makes so many viewers of this channel so excited. It's a little bit less than $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. Wow, you heard me right. Comes from here in Southern California from Maxine Waters. From the beaches of the shores, she got this provision in there that would give you money for the purchase of your first home. The money will be given to the seller in your name at the time of the close of escrow by the federal government. It's huge. That is the incredible first of three add-ons of checks in this incredible recon. Those incredible details continue to unfold by the minute. And with that, let's go then into the second cluster checks. And those second cluster checks continue to get better by the minute. When we look at those second cluster checks, what's next at issue? What next heats up? Let's look at all those incredible sums of checks starting right now. In that second cluster of checks, what do we have in there that we need to know? Well, we have in that second cluster of checks the home repairs and the paid leave. Wow, absolutely incredible. Those home repairs and the paid leave, how much is the paid, is the paid leave? $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. If you make $35,000 or more per year, it's $500 a week. $400 a week if you make $15,000 or more per year. And boy, this is incredible sums of money. Now, also in there is the incredible money for the uh, home repairs. This is to weatherize your home to sustain a natural disaster across the board. Just incredible items that you need to know. And that is what is in the second cluster of checks. Now, let's look at that second add-on of checks. Gets it better by the second. Second add-on of checks, and boy, is a lot of it. Uh, it is the incredible, the incredible um, home health care. $250 billion got in there from Bob Casey. And Bob Casey got in there as a campaign promise of Joe Biden. Thank goodness it survived. It is free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Now let's turn to that third cluster checks. Wow. Seniors and free internet. Oh my goodness. The free internet for all. It's free school meals checks for all. Then farmers checks, independent contractors checks, and seniors. Two checks coming on the house side, three coming on the Senate side. On the house side, they got in there the Medicaid gap fix. And then they got in there the incredible, uh, the incredible uh, hearing aid checks. On the sad side, they vow to add in their dental, vision, and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which is part of the course for the senators adding checks as a recon, because guess what? They also have to add something else, what they promised the viewers of this channel since the month of May last year. And what is that? Jump in the live chat right now and write those three letters. You know what it is. Those three add up, that third add on of checks, it is, yes, I see someone wrote it, MSC. What is MSC? Who gets it? How much is it? Where do you get it? How does it land? Everything you need to know. Let's go over those great details starting right now. MSC stands for Monthly IRS Stimulus Checks. Now, there are many checks in the Four Stimulus Recon, but these are checks that we added to there, and they would be added to there, sent out from IRS Monthly. So who gets them? Legislators represent that if you've got a third stimulus check, you would get a fourth stimulus check. The income qualification would be the same. Single individual, 75000 less, you get it. Annual income, 
Married couple, 150000 less, you get it, double it. You get it across the board. Family four, you get it as well, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Royal benefits, you get it as well. Adult dependents would also get it. It is not income. It's not taxable. It is not state-by-state state basis. It is nationwide. In California, we just get electric surfboard. <laughs> and it goes off the most recent tax return. So if that tax return had a direct deposit account on it, that's how you get paid. One viewer the other day said her fiancé says she has to pay it back. No, but there's still time to return the engagement ring. Look at the return policy. I think it's 30 days. You can't get, get married to someone who doesn't know what this is about. Come on already. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, that is the MSE. So the question is how much? <laughs> well, it's a lot of money. It is $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. Let's rock and roll. There you go. So there is that MSC, which is one of many provisions the Senate has vowed to add it to the Build Back Better Act, which we're still on in this recording. But they haven't gotten it in there. And so the question is, then what? 11 months of negotiations, and they didn't add, they didn't get this done. What happened? Well, the legislation is still in the Senate subcommittee, and that Senate subcommittee is where they make modifications, add stuff to them. Then they have a Senate bill, then they have a Senate floor vote. That has not happened. And so the net result is that we need something else that goes before it. Case in point, Build Back Better Act will happen, but we need something faster. And five weeks ago, I said to viewers, do you want me to bring it back? They said, bring it back, Alex. CR for stimulus is back on, baby. And what is CR for stimulus? A very simple concept created by me in 2020 that made history. The concept is insert a stimulus check into a small piece of legislation, a few hundred pages of piece of legislation that has bipartisan support, an inherent deadline, and goes out quickly. CR stands for continuing resolution. Continuing resolution is a budget bill to fund the federal government done every three to six months. It doesn't have to be a CR, but that was the creation in 2020. And what happened? Five weeks ago, I brought it back on this channel and it birthed CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. And the great news is all happening right now. We're going to go right into CR for Stimulus 1.0 right now, which is the same CR. It's just a different year. Let's go back to what CR for Stimulus was two years ago. Two years ago, we had seen the first Stimulus package negotiated and done and paid you. But you need more money, a second stimulus package, and it didn't get done. 11 months of negotiations. So finally, I said, I need something that has bipartisan support, small and quick and fast, and I found a continuing resolution, CR. And I said, put a check in there. I came up with the creation, CR for stimulus. You have it in the live chat, write it right now. I made history because I said, this is the way you can get a check to the American people. Purple Power, the community of this channel, you made history because you got the advocacy out there. And Americans got a $600 stimulus check because of my recording. It went into the continuing resolution in December 2020. We got pay, and guess what also happened in December 2020? The second stimulus fell apart. Never paid anyone. Never had a bill. Never had a check. So thank goodness for 2020. Well, it looks exactly like 2020 right now. The great news is growing by the minute. First, let's go over CR for stimulus right now where we are. Where's the inherent deadline right now? Early March, good, number one. Bipartisan support, yes. Months of negotiations between Republicans and Democrats, House and Senate, and they have it solidified. How much money? $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds, also really good. That's enough for a $2,000 stimulus check. And then, anything else to be concerned about? Well, we got through those tense moments of Thursday and Friday where the White House was trying to take some of the money for COVID and the restaurant union was trying to take some of the money. Patrick Leahy, Senator from Vermont, held them at bay, said, nope, we negotiated this money. This is not going to be taken by you. It's $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds. So who has the discretion over the funds? The discretion is the cabinet members of Joseph Biden, which include your Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, who oversees IRS. All good. So what is left for us to do with CR for Stimulus 1.0? On the latest details, after the commercial break. Then, we have great news about CR for Stimulus 4.0, the Ukrainian funding bill, and the Russian sanctions bill. It was very hard to make yesterday's recording because we had not yet delivered funds to Ukraine. It changed overnight. 
I stand with Ukraine. Then we go into Sea Offer Stimulus 2 and 3.0 that would come right behind that. But SS300, the ability to give you an additional $300 a month if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rare old benefits, and benefits, benefits, it is breaking news overnight. Yes, on a day like this, has nothing to do with Ukraine or Russia. It has to do with the Federal Reserve and inflation. Here in Santa Barbara, where the soap opera was, <laughs> one of the Fed heads spoke just minutes ago about where he thinks that inflation number is going to be. It's huge because it impacts your wallet. Then I have brand new details as well today about the price of gasoline at the pump. It's coming down or stabilizing based upon new events. These are different than yesterday's events, folks. These are brand new. It's great news. It's the fifth effort by the president to stabilize the number and stabilize your wallet. And then we'll be turning back into Build Back Better Act. And of course, stay at the very end, because that is where you're going to see the new success stories where viewers have cleaned up with $10,000 this week. It's all about the money and getting the money. And I'm going to show you how to get it in the second half of this video. Boy, we have a big second half and all the latest details from the ground in Ukraine and what is happening with those big economic developments against Russia. All those details and more are coming up in the second half of this video. We got a big broadcast today. I'm excited to hear. See you back in 60 seconds as Mornings I Like continues live from Santa Monica. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now live from Santa Monica, California. As morning's LA continues with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In the second half of this recording, we're going to go right into that CR for Stimulus 1.0 that has an inherent deadline just a few days away. $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds can get you a $2,000 stimulus check. So what's at issue? I have the latest details on that. It's first up. Then we'll be looking at SS300 that could raise your benefits up $200 a month in just 30 days. It's next up. Then we'll be looking at SS2, CR for Stimulus 2.0 and CR for Stimulus 3.0. That's right behind that. That is right, right behind it on the horizon. And, of course, we'll be looking at the Build Back Better Act and the big money across the board. I have breaking news that's coming in just minutes ago that impacts your wallet. It is the price of gasoline at the punch, at the pump and the latest details on what the Federal Reserve is likely to do in the next few days about interest rates. And, of course, the latest details from the ground in Ukraine and the breaking news about cutting off the funding of Russia from foreign banks. I have all those credible details as we go into a big second half of this video. A lot of breaking news, and I want you part of this family. So go to the video right now and subscribe. You're watching LLA, Light, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, heading to number two among cable, broadcast, and internet. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. And with that, let's go right into CR for Stimulus 1.0 and where we are. It looks really good, folks. We have an inherent deadline of early March, number one. We have the money, $1.5 trillion. We have the bipartisan support. This is a negotiated settlement amount between Republicans and Democrats, House and Senate. 
And the resistance that we may have faced on Thursday and Friday of trying to take the money from the White House for COVID or restaurant union pushed back by Patrick Leahy. All good. This is right here now. This is right in front of us. So what should we be protective of? Advocacy. We need to advocate because guess what? With all these things lined up so perfectly, we want to make sure that they do not take the money and build a park or build a bridge or, you know, uh, pour themselves a cup of coffee. So you need to make sure that they keep the money where it is and spend it on us. And what do you want to do? You want to advocate. You want to pick up the phone and advocate to the senators, including Leahy, and say the following. Continue resolution, early March. You got $1.5 trillion in there, discretionary funds. Give us a $2,000 stimulus check. It's as simple as that. Continue resolution, early March, $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds. Give us a stimulus check. Now, to add to the discussion, obviously what you're going to say is, hey, we've had your support for Build Back Better Act for 11 months. You were to give us many checks in there. We haven't gotten a penny from it yet. And you want our support. Give us a check. Let us remind you that you've done this before. You did this in 2020 when you wanted to win the midterm elections. Uh, you wanted to win those two Georgia Senate seats. And you gave us a stimulus check in the continued resolution in December 2020. Well, guess what? The midterms is right around the corner. Give us a check right now. And so that is the great news. The money is there. The, the, the terms are there. The discretion is there. It's enough for 2000 You just want to make sure they spend the money on you. That's first off. Now, the great news about CR for Stimulus 4.0, which is the terminology I had used in recent days, is it got great, grand new breaking news overnight. And I know CR for Stimulus 4.0 is a strange terminology to use for it, but it's very, very fluid and the news is great. It was originally supposed to be the Russian sanctions bill, you know that. And then it became the Ukrainian support legislation. Well, we were worried that it was going to get mixed up with all this. The great news is that the White House has stepped up, foreign governments have stepped up, and now it's getting taken care of without Congress actually doing anything themselves directly. Here's the breaking news overnight. Swift is now moving swift. What's going on? Russia is being yanked from swift, baby. <laughs> this is a big win for the Western Alliance. What is swift? Swift is a way in which you transfer funds internationally. So let's say you're at home here watching this video and you're on direct express card by Comerca, and you get your direct deposit account check for benefits every month. That's direct deposit, ACH. The international version of that is SWIFT, S-W-I-F-T. So you want to transfer funds from Russia to the United States or Russia to Switzerland. You use SWIFT. It's delineating U.S. dollars. As soon as the Russian acts of aggression against Ukraine started, I was advocating very strongly on Twitter to take Russia out of SWIFT means that they cannot send money in and out of Russia, mean Russia could not send funds to funnel their troops or cannot get donations to, to run their operations and could cut off funding of the country. The country could not operate. Its central bank could not receive funds. It was stalled as certain countries were not coming to the agreement and suddenly it changed overnight. Germany and the Western allies agreed overnight to cut Russia out of SWIFT. Ah. Oh, Thank goodness. And this comment came from government officials late yesterday. The agreement was formulated by United States, France, Canada, and now adding Italy, Great Britain, and the European community. Community, It is really huge. It ends the, quote, golden passports for wealthy Russian billionaires and the families who have been targeted by, uh, by funneling money into the Russian government. Quote, the country stressed their willingness to take Further financial measures should Russia not end its attack on Ukraine and thus on the European peace order. Meantime, a lot of flights have been canceled for obvious reasons. Lufthansa has canceled all flights in and out of Russia for the next seven days due to the current emergency regulatory situation. It's watching it uh, daily on a daily basis. Discount Air, Wizz Air, uh, is evacuating crews stranded in Ukraine but has otherwise halted all operations. KLM Royal Dutch previously halted Ukrainian flights and is also just getting Russian, uh, U.S. Uh, um, uh, crews out of Russia as quickly as possible. So that is huge for CR for Stimulus 4.0.
Meantime, the United States has dedicated millions of dollars to resources on the ground to fight the acts of aggression against Russia. That's brand new overnight as well. Now, let's go into CR for Stimulus uh, 3 and 2.0. Oh, this is the one that would come a little bit later, and this is really good. The House passed pieces of economic legislation at issue, and the first one was CR for Stimulus 2.0. It has now been sent to the Senate, where the Senate Republicans say they're going to merge it with their version 3.0. Why bipartisan support? Because Republicans and Democrats understand they need to give you money to alleviate these economic elements, which teases a right up for going into... SS-300. What is SS-300? And this is the next fastest thing on the horizon, 30 days out. First, let me go over what it is. Then I'll go over the numbers. Then I'll go over the breaking news. And boy, there's a lot of breaking news today. Who would know there'd be a breaking news on this subject matter today? There is. And then we'll go over how you get this money. What is this? This is raising your benefits up about $200 a month 30 days from now, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, or similar, and then another $100 by the end of this year, that's SS300. What does it take? Only a phone call. And what's at issue? Inflation. So let me go over the concept of it first, then I'll go over the breaking news that happened in just the last few minutes, and then I'll go over how it gets done. SS200 was a coin expression on this channel, which I created in 2020, after I saw Liz Warren's campaign promise to raise your benefits up $200 a month, only 6 to 12 months, but also do an act of Congress to remove the income cap, asset cap, and marriage penalty. She withdrew her run for president, and then Joe Biden says, I like Liz's policies, I'll adopt them as my own. He ran on the platform to give you $200 more per month, and then he won the general election. But what happened? In his transition papers at JoeBiden.com, which is still published, in December 2020, after winning the election, he said he's going to get you those $200 more per month right away because it's an urgent situation. That was December, folks, of 2020. We did not have inflation then. Now we have inflation. He did not get it done. And so what happened was over the month, months of 2021, I delivered the breaking news that the Senate Democrats said because he had not gotten it done, they were going to do it by a fifth stimulus recon starting December 2021. They did not get that done. And so three weeks ago, I brought on air the opportunity to do it right today. And how does he do it? A phone call. Picks up the phone and calls over to the commissioner of Social Security and says, replace COLA with inflation. Let me explain the implication and how easy that is in a second, but let me go into the breaking news, and this is huge, folks. This came in just minutes ago, and it's big. And who would know would we have this magnitude of news coming in on a day like this? It's not Ukraine or Russia. This is inflation and how it impacts your potential SS-300. The breaking news came in from Federal Reserve Governor Christopher Waller. Who, who was at a brunch in Santa Barbara in the last few hours. And he is part of the Federal Reserve, which watches inflation. And he was asked where he thinks inflation is going to be. Because remember, we're trying to track how much your benefits will go up. His comments were, I expect inflation to remain elevated and only slow show modest signs of deceleration over the next few months. As I believe, as a result, I believe the appropriate interest rate policy brings the target up one to one and a half percent of them in the summer. So what's at issue here? The issue here is trying to figure out how much your benefits would go up. In spring of last year, I said that the inflationary rate in December 2021 would come in at eight percent and not be temporary. It would stay high and stay relatively high for a few months. I was an outsider at the time because the Federal Reserve said it was going to be one to two percent temporary or transitory. Another word for trans temporary. They were wrong. We now learned. Wall Street said 2 to 3% temporary. We learned they were wrong. When did we learn they were wrong? Last month. When the inflationary number for December 2021 came in at 7.5%. Told you so. Now, at the time, I said to you, are we temporary or are we not? I said we're not. I said we're going to stay high. We're not going to go higher, but we're going to stay around 8. I said I can train you how to do this yourself. 
You're at the supermarket the month of January, look at the price of eggs. The same price of egg every week that you buy, the same quantity, same brand, same market. Is it going up 10 cents, 5 cents? You see inflation before I tell you. We're waiting just a few days away from now to get the next inflation number for January. Before then, we get the inflationary gauge numbers, which give us a sense of where inflation is going to land. And of course, we get these comments like this one. And the inflationary gauge numbers have been horrible. Florida, 12% inflation. California, 12%. Then the producer price index two weeks ago, 10%. Yesterday, I delivered the breaking news of what happened on the Friday numbers. Friday numbers came in at, for one gauge, this is a very important gauge. This is the one the Federal Reserve uses. The PCE number rose its highest rise since 1983, year to date. Ouch. What? Prices went up the most in this one year. You can guess it. Food and energy. Highest increase since 1982. This is why Joe Biden needs to do this. Doesn't make any sense but to make the phone call. So what does he do? He just picks up the phone and calls over to the commissioner and head of Social Security and says, replace COLA with inflation right now. Right now, and that will raise your benefits up $200 a month starting right now. Then in December, inflation is likely to be 4%, so you'll get another $100 then. That's SS200, SS300, and the year after that, you're going to get another $40, $50, because remember, once you go up, you never go down. That's SS400, very simple across the board. Now, when considering that, does the president have other options at issue for alleviating your strain at home economically? And he does. And when we're talking about that, we're talking about another two items at issue. And the two numbers I want you to learn on this channel in the next few days are huge. The first one is the interest rate spikes of 2022. We have five Federal Reserve meetings this year. And most analysts now believe that the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates, spike, raise interest rates five times in five meetings. That's a consensus right now, a quarter basis point each. The concern is whether it's more, then we have to be very, very nervous about our wallet. Five quarter basis point rises in five meetings. There's some talk do about doing seven rises in five meetings, but would the first one, which is just a few days from now, be a half basis point, a lot more. That according to my opinion, is not going to happen because of what's happening in Ukraine. And that was exactly the question asked of Christopher Wallace, Waller in San Francisco and Santa Barbara. He said that uh, it's important to have a uh, interest rate spike on March 15th to 16th because it'll ha help convey the message to deal with higher inflation. Of course, comma, it's, it's possible that the state of world events will be different in the wake of the Ukrainian attack, which may mean modest tightening is appropriate, but that remains to be seen. His comments were before we saw what was really unfolding here in Ukraine right now. So I think when we see that interest rate spike, the first of five meetings and five spikes for 2022 on March 15th, I think we're going to see a quarter, not a half. If we see a half, it may be very, very telling. Now, we have other great news, and this is huge. I'm very excited to report this to you. This is that rude guy named Brent. <laughs> He's crude. He's just crude. Crude Brent. Well, that's another number I told you to say attention to, and I have brand new details on this. This is You've never heard of this before on this channel. What are we talking about? I don't care if you do drive or you don't drive, because if you don't drive, you have to buy some goods at the supermarket, and they're driven in by a truck driver. And if gasoline is too expensive, then guess what happens? Bad news. Let me tell you the bad news that it happens. Gasoline goes up. You have unemployment. You have potential stagflation. You have a contracting economy. And you have potentially a recession. So the way that gasoline doesn't go up is making sure that there's not a shortage of gasoline. Remember those lines of shortage of gasoline in the 1970s? Yeah. And so the more available barrels of gasoline, the cheaper gasoline is. Less available barrels, the more expensive it gets. So obviously, when day one of Ukraine and Russia erupted, guess what the concern was? Now, Russia and Ukrainian oil is out of our available sources. So the price of gasoline would soar. And initially, it soared to about 105 a barrel. I need you to know that number. 
We now know it went to about 105. The Federal Reserve, excuse me, the federal government, the United States government, came in and made a move and brought it down to about 94. It's now holding at about 100. It's been at 100 since day two of the conflict in Ukraine and Russia. Analysts now believe that we can sustain $100 a barrel for about six months if inflation doesn't go higher, which is not going to. $100 is fine. But we can't go to 125. We will be in big financial trouble in this country. We can't go to 135. So what is the breaking news, brand new, which you're hearing for the first time in today's recording? The United States overnight has now solidified agreements with other countries to get their barrels released out as well. The United States has carried out parallel agreements with the countries of China, India, Japan, South Korea, and the UK overnight to ensure that they release extra oil like we're releasing extra oil from our reserve stockpile to keep the price down. Quote, we're actively working with other countries to, to evaluate the collective reserve of the strategic petroleum reserves of major energy consuming countries, and the United States will release additional barrels of oil as warranted, said Joe Biden's latest comments. This is huge. So this means that they're getting other countries in the last 24 hours to release more oil. We keep our oil hidden behind the lobster shorts. <laughs> That's why we have a lot of it, because people walk in and say, lobster shorts? I don't want any of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we have extra oil. And so we slowly release the oil, keep the price down to $100. The president did three other things, which I first delivered to you yesterday on the recordings, which was one. He also is trying to get a nuclear arms treaty, a treaty done with Iran very quickly, rather than early spring or late spring. If that nuclear agreement is done, millions of barrels of Iranian oil will be in our supply chain, bringing down the price. Saying the president also vowed to criminally prosecute any U.S. manufacturers of gasoline who are trying to stick us to the price at the pump. Wow. So many details across the board, and that is where we are right now. I'll go back to Ukraine and Russia in just a second, but let's time to get some money. <laughs> it's time for you to get some money because that's my job on this channel, getting you money, thousands of dollars. And I'm glad that you stayed to the very end because we have new success stories coming in right now. What are we talking about? We're talking about third stimulus, folks. We're talking about third stimulus, and this is money that's available from everywhere. You get it everywhere. And what are we going to go over? Well, third stimulus passed in spring of 2021, and it's still paying out. And if you got it before, you need to get it again. If you haven't gotten, I'm going to teach you how to get it. And we have big success stories that came in overnight. These are huge. Charles Garman says, hey, I got another $1,000 today for energy assistance. You got $1,000 from this channel yesterday. Congratulations. Karen Phillips says, um, I had lost all my jobs. I didn't know what I was going to do to pay my rent to utilities. But I contacted one of the organizations in my area, and I got three months of rent and three months of utilities. LA, you're amazing. The average payout the viewers get is about three to five months of rent each round. I'll go over what a round is in a second. But that is where you should be focusing on right now, getting that new round. That's just today. <laughs> Every day, another success story comes on. And if you have a success story, send it to me on private message or social media. Tell me which round it is. You've gotten this before, twice before, three times before. Tell me which one you got. Here is Bob Bacon. He's in the live chat. He says, I scored three more months of rent from my church. Congratulations, Bob. Great job. Brian Donahue, Donahue also yesterday says, I just got a second round. So this is the second time he's gotten money for this, for this channel, for five months. So that's on the high end. Good job. And then we have viewers who really listen and learn. So where do you get this money? Let's go over the details of how and where you get this money. We are getting rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. It's available everywhere, folks. Every single place has it. Let's take notes. Follow along if you're a member of this channel. You want to reach out to the city hall. Your city house authority. Your county hall. And your county house authority. And the keywords are going to say rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. You want to get that money right away. Three months. You must reach out to all six places. You must put multiple applications on file. And you must do multiple rounds. Average viewer of this channel has gotten about $45,000. Open that membership newsletter. But become a member. Link is under the video. And yeah, we rely on those nonprofits because, boy, they pick up the funds sometimes, pay out the funds when sometimes you have issues at the county or the state. 
Again, the average view of this channel has gotten 45,000, but get those multiple rounds. Don't wait around and get the money right today. And if you've gotten this money before, get another round right today. When we talk about doing another round, we're talking about going out and get another three to five months right now. So I know the viewers who have gotten rounds before, you got in the spring, got in the summer, got in the winter, get another round of that money right today. And that is third stimulus. Let's go right into Build Back Better Act for just a second. There's a lot of checks in Build Back Better Act, which will get done. It's longer on our horizon of all these different items. The first item, of course, is CR for Stimulus 1.0. That is just a few days away. Uh, but Build Back Better has all these other checks. And when are those checks? These are checks for everyone including those automatic adult stimulus checks. What are some of those checks that are also in the Build Back Better Act? It's for everyone, seniors and people on disabilities. They got in there. The salt cap, raising it, from 70 to 70, raising it to $72,500 of what you can deduct in state and local taxes. They got in there. The cheaper prescription medication growing from 20 to 30 by year 2028. They got in there the $40 billion of free job training. The incredible Medicaid gap fix that provides years of subsidized private insurance to low-income uninsured people in 12 Republican holdout states. And then they got in there just incredible sums of money. Some items were paying from third stimulus, like the earned income tax credit for one more year, and also the CTC, the check for the children. These are incredible checks that are in Build Back Better Act, which will become a law. What's important for you to understand is that in the landscape of broadcast reporting, if there was a hurricane hitting today, the broadcast channels, not financial news channels, but the broadcast channels would cover the hurricane. They wouldn't cover Build Back Better. So because there's a major event happening overseas, don't think that Build Back Better Act is not happening. It's just there's just a lot of other there's just a lot of news going on, folks, right at the moment. So don't think that you don't see it. My focus is staying here with you and the money. Let's turn back to what's going on with Ukraine and Russia as it impacts your wallet right today. Well, the situation unfolding right now is that. Vladimir Putin overnight now expressed acts of aggression, threats of nuclear aggression against neighboring countries. Wow. He also threatened to neighboring countries that are vowing to join NATO and, e and the EU overnight. Oh, boy. Uh, and then the situation is that he's not doing well, Vladimir Putin, whatsoever. The Ukrainian forces have been excellent at keeping him and his acts of aggression at least 18 miles outside of the capital of Kiev, as President Zelensky has been on the battleground with his troops uh, throughout the endeavors. I'll be on top of the story throughout the day, but the great news is that the world leaders of Western world have gotten together and kicked Russia out of SWIFT, which will cut off the funding of Russia's funds in and out. It also caused tensions back at home where Russian citizens who are displeased with these acts of aggression by uh, Putin are going to not be happy that they cannot live their lives because they have no money because SWIFT is now being kicked out of operations. Then we also have a lot of twists and turns that are anticipated for this coming week. This is a week where we've never seen anything like it. We have the Federal Reserve, the FOMC meeting coming in just a few days from now. We have to deal with the question about where the price of gasoline and oil is coming. We're waiting for that big inflationary benchmark number from January 2022, last month's number. So we have a lot going on before we even get to Ukraine and Russia. We have a lot of shows also today, and normally you would see me wearing red today. Tiger red, that is. But, obviously, I'm wearing blue. And with that, I incredibly encourage you to stay with me throughout the day. Next up is noontime, home L8. And then we have afternoons L8 at 1 o'clock, a brand new afternoons L8 at 3, and a brand new evenings L8 at 3 at 5 o'clock as well. Then we have a lot of developing details coming out throughout the night. I'm on top of the stories and follow me on Twitter. On Twitter, I am retweeting, sharing, and posting imagery and video and, and, and biops from the battleground. In some cases, a little bit too graphic for this channel. It's more of a narrative of what's happening on the front line. If you want the latest updates, follow LA on Twitter for that as well. And with that, stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful day. I hope the weather's good where you are. It's warming up a little bit here in Southern California this morning. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more. <laughs>